Everybody, welcome. Chris from Team Aquascape. Welcome back to our channel. Today we have a very fun 7x9 ecosystem pond build with about a six foot stream. Today's episode is all about curb appeal. Yes, I said it, curb appeal. More often than not, you see us working in the backyards. Today, we are gonna be in the front yard. We are gonna build a pondless waterfall. The easiest way to learn something is to teach it. We are rocking and rolling on this pond. We appreciate you guys tuning in. So like I said, today's episode is all about curb appeal. And as you can see behind me, we've got a fairly busy road for being a very quiet, sleepy community, but there's a lot of traffic that runs past here. And today we are gonna be working in the front yard of this gorgeous brick home. Uh, right here is where we're gonna be doing a waterfalls up in that upper area, about a six foot stream into a seven by nine foot pond down in here. And we're gonna leave room for a little bit of a bench over there. So we're gonna completely transform this space and create a beautiful beautiful ecosystem pond. It's a seven by nine foot pond. We've got about a 15 by 20 foot liner. We've got a 2,500 bio falls. We've got a smaller skimmer on this project, SLD 2,000 to 5,000 gallon per hour pump. We've got some pipe. There's no lights on this project uh, currently. Maybe we can talk to the homeowner about adding those before we're done, but we will see. You see we've got DK, we've got Juan, we've got Brian and Chris from Delco Water Features. We've got Elliot and David from Three Arrows. And then of course we've got the best Chris of us all right there, Chris Dasky, the man. We're Go ahead and get everything unloaded. Rock will be here about 9 a.m. It's about 7:30 right now. So our goal is to get everything laid out, dug, and have the liner, bio falls, everything in before Rock shows up. And we should have a very, very productive day. Brian's over here. We're gonna pull out some of these lights just to get them out of the way. We have waterfalls. So our 2,500 bio falls is gonna be sitting about right there. We're gonna end up building a little bit of a retaining wall, give it a little bit more of a burn. So we're gonna have to rip out this section of the timber wall. Bio falls right here, drop, drop, drop. And then our pond will start somewhere down in here. So I'm gonna go ahead, we'll get all this stuff out and then we're gonna spray everything out and then we'll start digging. Remember, this episode is all about curb appeal, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna orient the biofalls, the 2,500 biofalls, facing it back kind of at a 30, 45 degree angle from that corner. So we'll get a waterfall falling this way and it'll twist and turn, entering into the backside of the pond right about in here. The pond's gonna be a seven by nine foot pond. So we've got nine feet going from that line all the way over to there. Actually, it's about nine and a half. And then we have roughly seven feet of width going from here all the way over to there. Now, notice we're not measuring between the two narrow points. We want to go from the far points from there to there. The reason we put the pond and oriented it the way that we did was so because there's virtually no windows that will face back towards it that you'll be able to get a view of the waterfalls. Again, remember, it's all about curb appeal here. As people walk up to this gorgeous home, they want to be invited in by such an awesome entrance as they walk up. So the pond right here, we'll do a nice little beach area coming off of here. We'll make sure that we really focus on the shape of the pond. We We've got our skimmer box over there, which is our mechanical filter. We'll be able to disguise that very well. These weird marks on the ground, these are gonna be little peninsula rocks, just that I marked out more for a reminder for me to just remember to really focus on that shape. But we're gonna go ahead and dig everything out. We're gonna over dig and then not have to carve those boulders back in later by folding that liner back and forth, back and forth. So we're gonna go ahead and get the biofall sank, get the plumbing attached, and then go ahead and start digging our pond. That way we can throw the spoils up around the biofalls and we will end up creating a little bit more of a retaining wall up above above this timber wall back in through here. So let's get going.
into the rocking in process. We hit our deadline of getting the pond excavated before the rock even showed up. Not twiddling our thumbs, but we were waiting on it for the first time in a while, which was great. So we've got the whole bottom rocked in, which is a challenge when it's such a narrow pond. So we want to make sure we're not eating up all the void space. And we dug this bottom shelf about 18 to 20 inches of depth. So unfortunately, we had to use a couple of these tall, skinny ones, which I like to use elsewhere a lot of times. But it allowed us to keep this opening through here and allow for that two foot. It's actually a little bit deeper because we got a little overzealous with the excavation. But we're about 27 inches in through here. And then everything else is going to be about 12 inches of water all the way around the perimeter. So right now what we're doing is we're trying to drop in some of these key character boulders all the way around to really establish the shape. And then what we'll do is we'll fill in with all of this small stuff, small and mediums in between. Juan over here is working on making a bed for that boulder to sit on. It's gonna kind of be a little hot dog shaped rock coming across the side over here to really change that shape. And then we'll start working our way around the edge and then we'll get into that waterfalls. So I may have said this on the channel before, you may have heard this on one of our episodes, but one of the reasons we love working with EPDM liner is the fact that it's flexible and waterproof. You can't do this kind of stuff with concrete, gunite, shotcrete, any of that stuff. Once you set it, it's done and over with. But what we're doing now is we are actually folding back that EPDM liner, which is the nice thing about the flexibility of it. And now we are carving boulders in that we felt would really enhance the shape of the overall water feature. When using other kind of materials, you really have to marry yourself to the shape of the water feature that you're building. But with the EPDM liner, it's not. It's flexible, it's lightweight. By and large, you can fold it back and forth, back and forth. When the digging conditions are as good as they are on this project, we really have zero qualms about folding that liner back and actually carving a boulder in, which is the nice part about working with that rubber liner. So just another small benefit to using the products that we use to build these incredible water features. But it's just so nice to be able to do that when we realize that something needs to happen and we have the creative flexibility by working with the proper materials to do that. Just wanted to illustrate that point. I think it's great. Once we get this dug, then we're gonna work in a couple boulders. We'll set our bottom waterfalls, really set off this shape over here. We only have about half the rock left. So we are cruising right along. It's about 11.15, so we're about a half hour, 45 minutes away from lunch. And my goal is to get this thing filling by lunchtime. Now that's my goal, but we will see. getting right down to the very end and now it's all clean up and detail work. You've got Juan over here just cleaning up the driveway. Dan's over here primping this edge over here. It looks fantastic. I love the overall shape of the pond. I love some of this different edge treatments some of these big boulders all in through there to kind of come out and walk on. What we talked about earlier in the video was adding that curb appeal and you can see there's traffic coming and going all day long. People are slowing down, looking what's happening and they really wanted to make a statement as people walked up to the front door of the house and just really grabbed the attention of their visitors and everybody that comes to this property. And I think we did it, but I'm gonna let you guys tell us in the comments because we are getting ready to fire up this waterfalls for the very first time. You guys ready for this? Drum roll, please. Let's go. So we talk about edge treatments all the time and it's really that last 10%. And Dan found a bunch of this sedum here on the job site that we're able to repurpose and really naturalize this edge and green it up so it's not all rocks and through here. But you can see just how it's gonna soften up this edge. Found some moss here on the property, which just really helps naturalize everything. We're gonna go ahead and clean everything back off and then fire up that water. Okay, pump is now plugged in. See the skimmer's obviously doing its job, pulling all that debris into the skimmer box. Bio Falls is filling up. Ooh, there it is. This is a 3PL pump. Very cool. What is up you guys? We are back. 
on this incredible curb appeal addition to this already amazing house. But this front yard is now complete with the installation of this gorgeous pond and waterfalls out here in front. Love how it turned out and it definitely grabs your attention from walking up this entryway sidewalk to the street. Even from inside this bay window of the house, you get the side profile. And of course, looking back at it, it looks absolutely incredible. I love the shape of the pond. It's a little tinted because the homeowner decided to put, looks like some driftwood cedar pieces in there. So I think the water got a little stained because of that. They also, you can see through some fish food in there. So there must be some little fishies running around in there. But I love the shape of the pond. It's so neat to see the homeowner putting their spin on it already. They've got the little garden gnomes over there. In fact, this one looks to be really guarding the pond itself. Don't mess with that guy. Or that one over there. So they're guarding garden gnomes. Just turned out incredible. I love it. Like I said, when the homeowners really just take what we created for them and make it their own. I love the waterfalls i love the sound it definitely is dramatic walking up to the front door you get the audible energy before you even walk past the garage and up to the front door so you can hear it before you actually see it which is always awesome the size of the pond definitely fits the overall size of the canvas that we were given i love some of the various edge treatments like this little gravel beachy area i love this little cove it'll be great for an aquatic plant but i love the in and out of the shape of the pond itself the retaining wall is very informal. You've got a big boulder over there, some small stuff, and then some bigger gravel there, there. I love when it's changed up like that. I love that you can't really see where the biofalls is. Can't wait for that whole berm area to be planted. It just turned out absolutely gorgeous. Love the fact that we were able to get it done in a day. I also love that we were able to complete this project with certified aquascape contractors. Three Arrows Landscaping out of South Carolina. You had Delco Ponds and Water Features out of Pennsylvania. And then you have Wasatch Ponds out of Utah. All represented as part of this build in collaboration with Team Aquascape. They were a huge help. So thank you guys. Really love how this pond turned out. Like I said, can't wait for it to get planted. Hope you guys loved it too. Turned out so awesome. A little shaded right now. It looks like the sun will soon be out and this thing will be in full sun within a matter of minutes. So it's a little hard to tell, but I love how it seamlessly got incorporated into this area and what curb appeal it has brought to this already gorgeous home. Thanks so much for watching. Till next time, we'll see you later. Take care everybody. Adios. Adios.